Hi, this is Cooper at TalkSpot, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to add new email accounts to your domain name. The first thing that we'll do is we're going to log into your webmail using your admin account. We're going to click login. We'll end up on our dashboard, and we're going to go down into settings. Under settings, you'll find my settings and domain settings. Under domain settings is where we're going to be adding our new users. What we'll do is we will click on users and this brings up all the users that we have set up on an account. To add new users, we just click new. Now I'm going to add the new user we only need to add the information before the at symbol. The at and your domain will be added to the email address automatically. I'm going to type in my password. I don't need to type it in a second time. Since this is just an information uh, address, I'm just going to type in info. Normally you'd put in your full name. I'm going to leave the reply to email address blank. That is not needed uh, for sending from this email account. That is intended when sending from different email addresses. Uh, I'm going to need to set my time zone. I am on Pacific time, so I'm going to make sure that my emails are dated properly for my time zone. I can add a backup email address. I want to make sure that my user status is here, is enabled. The default mailbox size is 100 megabytes, which is sufficient for most people, but you can change this at any time. The other thing is we want to make sure if we're not going to be using just the web mail that you enable either your uh, IMAP or pop retrieval we suggest only using IMAP because it allows you to connect with multiple devices pop is only appropriate when you're connecting to your email with one device like your computer if you want to access it with your computer and a phone you will want to be using the IMAP enable option and not the pop and those are all the settings that you need to set up for the actual email. So now that I have all of my information set up, there are other tabs with different options. All the defaults are fine unless you're doing something uh, more advanced, but I will not be covering those features in this tutorial um, other than possibly forwarding, which allows you to send a copy to another email address and either leave it in this mailbox or if you check the delete message when forwarded, it will remove it from this email box, which would work the same as using an alias, um, which you can set up aliases for email accounts that you don't actually want to have a mailbox for. Uh, but now we have our user set up. We're going to click Save. Uh, and my password is not strong enough. We do have a minimum password requirement, which is one letter. Uh, one number, one capital, and one lowercase, and six characters long. So I'm going to change my password here. Click Save, and there we go. My new user is enabled, and I'll be able to log in and access that account. And that is how you add new users to your account. You can also go in and edit them if you need to, uh, but that is how you add new users.